with the Autodesk Kobe extension for Revit, you're able to create zones and add existing spaces or rooms to those zones. These are zones to populate inside your Kobe extension spreadsheet. Up here in BIM interoperability tools, you can go right to the Kobe extension and look for zones. When you click on zones, it'll ask you if you want to have a preview uh, generated for your zone manager. If you have a lot of spaces or rooms, it may take several minutes to generate the zone manager preview. In some cases, you might want to skip the preview. Here, for this example, I'm going to skip the preview. Once that is done, you see here that I have a list of zones and spaces associated to those zones. Over here on the right, I have available rooms or spaces in this list. I can sort this list as well. I can come right over here and say sort by name, or I can say sort by level. If I click on sort by level, you see here that it's listing out the first floor, all available rooms, second floor, so on and so forth. Next, I can either say show unassigned rooms and spaces only or show unassigned and assigned rooms and spaces. Here, I'm going to expand all of them and I want to see just what are unassigned rooms and spaces. Here, I see a list of all of these unassigned rooms or spaces. Now, if I want to break this down a little bit further and just see just my rooms here, I can come right over here to these buttons. Right now, it's showing both rooms and spaces. I could say, show me spaces only or show rooms. I'm going to say, show rooms. Here, I have a few different rooms here that still need to be assigned. I can minimize these existing zones here and find the appropriate zone that I want to add these rooms to. If I don't find the appropriate zone here, what I can do is I can add in my own zone. For this example, I'm just going to create a zone called roof. The category here, I could choose from a list. Here, I'm just going to add in just a circulation zone, add in description, and then I can add in created by. Something to note here is that this created by is from your contacts list that you created up here. Now I can save this. Now I have this zone here rated ready to be populated. If I want to add any one of these rooms here, I can simply click and drag this over here. And as you can see, my list over here changes as I start to assign those rooms. I can also remove rooms by clicking on the X or remove the entire zone completely. If I remove the zone, it disappears from the list. Here for administration, I have the room admin, but I don't have the space admin. So I can just click on space 
on the patient admin for reception, just click and drag it over, just like so. When I'm finished, I can go and save and close. If you're looking for the preview for the zones and rooms, this is what that looks like. Here I have a 3D model preview of my rooms, spaces, and zones. I can actually pivot, look around my 3D model, just like so, inside my preview. Also, I can click on any one of my existing zones here. I can click on isolate selected elements in preview. This shows me my zone. I can also highlight selected elements in the preview as well with just that. So this is isolate and this is highlight. This can become very beneficial when I need to know exactly what areas I'm adding to my zones.